Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bungai, and today I'm going to be going over uh, rendering uh, using the NVIDIA graphics card. Um, when I first started off um, with my YouTube channel, I assumed it would be as simple as going out, building a PC, a decent graphics card and decent uh, uh, processor. Um, but as some of you may have noticed through my previous videos, uh, I was losing quality frame rate. Certain videos were pausing or stalling throughout the game. And on top of that, it was taking a hell of a lot of time to convert uh, to render. Uh, for instance, I did one video that was an hour and four minutes, and it took 36 minutes just to render alone, which I thought was absolutely disgraceful. Um, I did a couple of checks. I checked the internet, and I just wasn't finding the right answers. Um, so it, I got to the point where I actually contacted another fellow YouTuber uh, by the name of Barnacles, and he did he get back to me, so I appreciate him. Big thumbs up to him, because um, straight away he fixed my issue. Um, he did state to me, had I looked into um, hardware accelerator, um, as that was the, the, the main factor he could only think of. Uh, and it turned out I hadn't. Um, so without further ado, I did further d checks into hardware acceleration, and it turned out that NVIDIA had created a toolkit by the name of CUDA. Now, if you go, if you go to the website, I'll leave this particular link in the description. And it gives you a full breakdown uh, of what this actual toolkit does in regards to acceleration and, and which apps it works with and so on and so forth. Um, so I'll leave a link to that in my description along with a link to um, Barnacle's um, YouTube channel also. Um, so I downloaded the actual application straight away and I was handed this. Um, and as you can see, there's nothing in it. So straight away I was like, Right, sounds good, no idea. So I was back to square one. However, after doing some further digging, it turns out um, there's a way around it. I use Adobe Premiere when it comes to uh, uh, rendering my videos and editing them and so on and so forth. So I went into my um, C drive, into the uh, program files. In this particular instance, it's the 64-bit. And obviously when we use using Adobe Premiere, I went into the Adobe Premiere folder. And as you'll see further down the page here, there's a file called CUDA supported cards. Now I opened this folder, I actually opened this with text editor. And as you can see from the top, that is the graphics card I currently use. Uh, the GeForce GTX 770, it's the two gig, of, two gig version. Now this software states that my card wasn't supported, so therefore, I had to find a way around it. And the way to do that was to simply open up Notepad as administrator, then open that particular uh, text document, and then add my graphics card manually to the folder and save it. Um, and again, once again I thought, brilliant, I've done it, it's worked, only to find I was still it wrong. Um, what I then had to do is go into the, the, the NVIDIA, excuse me, a bit of a tongue twister, the NVIDIA uh, control panel, uh, as you can see from the sidebar, you've got all your different sections here in regards to configuring your screens and so. Go into Manage 3D uh, Settings and go over to program, uh, the Program Settings. You then select, if it's not here, add the actual uh, program you're going to be using. Once you've done that, you will see in the bottom here under the Features and Settings that CUDA GPUs is now set and it's a global setting of all. Um, when you've got that, you can add whatever program you use here. It doesn't have to be Adobe, it could be uh, Sony Vegas and so on and so forth. And it, it worked brilliantly. I selected that and I'll just bring over a previous video from Adobe, a premiere that I've got of my own in there. Um, so as you can see from the top of the screen here, you've now got a solid yellow bar going right the way across. Now previously, this would have been the red bar because it hadn't have rendered. Um, if you have got the program open when you're doing the settings, I would advise you to close it because you won't see any differences until you've reopened it again. Um, normally, this would be yellow, uh, sorry, red until you've actually rendered the actual video. However, in this case, I closed the application down, I reopened it, and straight away it was rendered. Boom, yellow, which means I can now play this video anywhere from the within the video, and it'll play smoothly right the way through with no choppiness or, or glitchy within the video. As you can see there, I've got a video of Call of Duty. Oh, I haven't 
do apologise, Battlefield 4 on the PS4, uh, which I've recorded using the Elgato HD. Um, I'll show you a bit of footage from this, so you'll see there's no lag, and when it comes to the actual game footage, or the rendering section. So I'll, I'm just going to stick this on for a couple of seconds so you can see exactly uh, that the renderings are complete perfectly fine. Although my gameplay is absolutely diabolical, but that's something else we'll go over. Um, so yeah, um, once you've done that and you're ready to render, it, it renders brilliantly. Now, what I did find, um, I'll just go back to the actual rendering here. Um, ignore the actual name of the file, I know it says Elder Scrolls, that's partly because I forgot to change the name on the Elgato before recording. Um, now there's two ways you can render within within Adobe, and that is simply to go to select render all, which I don't need to do because it's done. When it comes to exporting the video, you can go to media, use relevant settings as you know, as you all know from uh, for YouTube, it's the H264 relevant settings. Now you can queue it, or you can just export straight from within the program. Now, what I did find is when you queued it, it took longer to uh, to render. I've no idea why. Um, it may be that I haven't got the, that other part of the program within the actual control panel for the NVIDIA, or export straight from the video, and it'll run straight through. Now, I did an hour video, as I mentioned earlier, and it took, I think it was 36 and a half hours in total to render before uploading it to YouTube. I put the same video through that just to see if it was working, and it took just under an hour. So, obviously, for those guys who are only using a small tutorial, 15 to 20 minutes, um, you're going to find it's going to render a lot quicker. And obviously, if you've got a better graphics card that's not more than 2 gig, you're going to find that your time is going to be even uh, quicker because it'll probably cut by half. Um, so I hope that's helped. If you have any questions, by all means, get in touch, like the video and subscribe. I'll put a full description of what to do uh, and the link, the relevant links to uh, the description, along with a breakdown of the system I'm using, just so you've got an idea as to the speed with regards to my setup. Um, another big thanks to uh, Barnacles for pointing out the obvious, although at the time it wasn't obvious to me. So yeah. That's how you render a video in QuickTime. Bear in mind, it is an hour, and it took just under an hour. Um, so yeah, if you like it, please like, subscribe, and I shall see you all again soon. Thanks again.